Okay, so in this part, now we're going to take a look at how we construct a margin of error. So it says the amount we go out from the middle to form the interval around a point estimate is called the margin of error. So in the last video, we were talking about our sample data, which said that 55% of people uh, supported the death penalty, right? So the question is, if we're going to construct a 95% confidence interval, how far up and down or what margin of error am I going to draw here to help build the confidence interval? And it's formed by the following formula. You take your Z alpha over 2 value, which we talked about in the last video, and you multiply it by the square root of p hat, which is your point estimate, times q hat, which is the complement of your point estimate. Remember, we're going to find q hat here by doing 1 minus p hat. And then n is going to be the size of your sample. So it says, for our example, we need to be 95% confident with a p hat of 0.55. So we know that q hat will be 1 minus 0.55 which is 0.45. And um, now I, the other thing I need is I need to find out what is this Z alpha over 2 value. So we are using, we are going to get this value based off of a 95% confidence interval. So that means, again, what we were talking about was if I want to be 95% confident, what are these values right here, or what are these critical values? We talked about them in the last video, but I also want to show you these are located on your formula sheet. So when you take a look at our formula sheet right here, it says 95% confidence level will have a critical value of 1.96. This critical value, that is that Z alpha over 2 value that we're looking for. So we know our Z alpha over 2 value is 1.96. I want to stress that you are not dividing anything by 2. You were just, this is the z alpha over 2 value. So now I think we can use this formula. So let's take this formula. I'm going to write it down. E is equal to 0. Point, I'm sorry. E is equal to z alpha over 2 times square root of p hat times q hat divided by n. Let's plug those values in. So it's going to be 1.96 times the square root of p hat is 0 0.55 times 0 0.45 all divided by the square root of n which is or divided by n which is 500. All right. So we're now going to work this out. So it's going to be 1.96 times square root of. Now be careful here. I need to set a set of parentheses because I need to multiply what's up in the top by a set of parentheses. So you got to think of this as kind of having a set of parentheses. So we're going to do 0.55 times 0.45. We needed to work that out on top. And then we divide that by 500. And then we close the parentheses for our square root. And we get 0 0.0436. So our margin of error is 0 0.0436. This is telling me, I didn't just, I can't just arbitrarily go between, you know, 60 and 50. This is going to be my margin of error for my 95% confidence interval. So to get my maximum value, I'm going to take 0.55 plus 0 0.0436, and that gives us, let's do that, point, point 0.55 plus point zero four three six. That gives us a maximum value of 59.63, or 0.5963. And then I'm going to get a lower value by taking my 0 0.55 and subtracting that margin of error of 0 0.0436, which is 0 0.5064. So I am in between these values. Now, how would we write a final answer? We would say we are 95% confident 
that blank percent of the U.S. adult population are in favor of the death penalty within a margin of error of plus or minus. Okay, so this time they want our point estimate. So we would say 55% of the U.S. adult population are within a margin of error of, let's round this to a whole percentage, 0 0.0436 would be 4.36%. We'll just round this to 4%. I like to call this the plus minus notation because we present our point estimate or our p hat value plus or minus our error or another we could say we could say this is we are 95 percent confident that between blank and blank this time they're going to want these percentages the lower and the upper estimate of our interval so rounding this to whole percentages it would be between 51 percent and 60% of the U.S. adult population is in favor of the death penalty. And you can see this is now, rather than just saying, you know, 55% of the population believes in the death penalty, we're presenting it as an interval. So we think we're pretty confident that it's somewhere between 51 and 60% based off of our data.